not much, just studying some chemistry. It's boring books are great and all, but I kind of really wish I had something to do that was like actually doing engineering with real people and whatnot. Well, I'm in Epics and you get to do real world engineering stuff right now. You want to come see? Sweet, yeah, let's go. EPIX is a program here at Purdue University in which teams of undergraduates of various majors design, build, and deploy real projects. These projects are created to solve engineering-based problems for local community organizations. Located in Neil Armstrong Hall, the EPIX lab is where students have access to state-of-the-art equipment and materials used to construct and test their products. Not only do EPIX participants gain work experience, but communication skills from speaking to real employees, leadership opportunities, and practice working on multidisciplinary teams as well. EPIC's teams are associated with numerous fields of learning, including neighborhood sustainability, soapbox derby racing, zoo and animal education, and much more. With over 30 EPIC's teams to choose from, there is sure to be a team that aligns with your interests. In this video, a student will show us part of her work on the GLASS team, which stands for Greater Lafayette Area Special Services. On the GLASS team, students are developing hardware, electromechanical, and software solutions that enable people from the ages 3 to 21 to function more independently and enjoy a better quality of life. The GLASS team is working to expand the capabilities of disabled youth and help them gain control of their environment. This team, as well as many others, involves developing electronics, computer controls, software, monitors, and structures to accomplish their goals. Many other teams use mechanical technology, aeronautical knowledge, and even ergonomics when developing their projects. This allows students to broaden their knowledge while working towards a positive local outcome. Thus, EPIX is beneficial for not only the community, but the student as well. Tell us about hers. Oh, sweet. What's your guys' project about? Hey guys, um, we're making a communication device for kids with autism. And so pr pretty much they would use a card and have a device. And you would put a card on top of the device and it would say the name of the card and that would teach them communication. Here's what I'm working on. I'm doing a, a model of it. And it has pretty much all of it. And I, I have to create different parts and then put them all together. And that was our first sketch ever. And yeah, it's improving a lot. We also have like the buttons that we're gonna use and all the parts there's already here. And there's also this, which is our carrying device that we're gonna use for the kids to like take it from place to place. Cool, yeah. Let's go see what uh, my friend Mark is doing. He's working on the electrical side of the project. Okay. okay. Can you explain like the electric side of it? Oh, well I'm just working on the circuit board. Here is our Arduino microcontroller and it helps us control all the other components of our circuitry. We've got the RFID reader to read our RFID cards. We've got the VS1053 encoder to help us play sound files. And then our speaker and our amp to play them loudly. Cool. Sweet. It's awesome. So what do you think about Looks pretty cool. I'm pretty sure I'm going to join the next semester. Hopefully we're some schedule. Awesome. Guys, can you believe we're already graduating? I know, it's crazy. Oh. My butt so fast. Four years. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, hey Connor. Connor. Guess what? I got a job. I put Epix on my resume and he like looked at he's like, oh, you've been part of Epix? I was like, yeah. I told him everything I did. He's like, sweet, that's exactly what we want. 